Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a very quick video for your HTC Evo 4G LTE owners. Uh, letting you guys know that the uh, Jelly Bean update, over the air update, is of going to be available today and you can manually install it. They've made it actually very easy to double check to manually install it. It would be uh, Jelly Bean version 3.15.651.16. All you have to do is go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go to system updates, and then select HTC software update and hit check now. Uh, right away it should pop up. I've had multiple people check and mul all of them actually have said that uh, the update did pop up for them. So it looks like you can just manually check for it. You don't have to go into stock recovery and do it yourself. But now uh, we're uh, ready to go. You'll see uh, it's going to update to 4.1.1 HTC Sense 4 Plus. Um, and I'll go ahead and walk you through it. I'm just going to hit OK. And now it's going to go ahead and download. Since it is a full OS update, the file size is going to be pretty large. So I highly recommend downloading it on Wi-Fi or 4G LTE. Um, 3G is going to take a long time. But uh, I'm going to let it download and I'll be back once it's done. All right, so it's just finishing up. It says download is complete. If for any reason that the download did not initiate, I'll, I recommend trying to reboot your phone. Um, and wait a little bit. It should come through and let you uh, check for it manually. Go ahead and select it once the download is successful. And it's going to verify the update package. Uh, once it does so, it should reboot your device into the stock recovery to install the update. So here we go. Uh, it lets you know, do you, are you sure you'd like to do this? Before you select OK, if you are someone that likes to root and install ROMs, etc., um, I'd hold off on this and just wait for someone to post a ROM, but if if not, then you can go ahead and just hit install now and hit OK. Uh, so there we go. Um, it'll reboot us into our stock recovery. I will show you that now. All right, so it will load up this screen now. You'll see a progress bar down there. It will take a bit of time to install as it is a large file size, as I said before. I'll be back once it is near completion. All right, so the progress bar is full. Looks like it is just finishing up the installation process. I do want to make a note that this shouldn't wipe any data whatsoever on your device. Okay, so it looks like the phone's rebooting. It said on uh, the progress bar was full for a little while, so you'll just need to be patient once that progress bug par progress bar gets completely full. And then it takes us to this screen. Looks like it just flashed, and then it brought us back to this screen once again. All right, and now another progress bar has popped up down at the bottom so it looks like it is just uh, finalizing the update hopefully this is the last step all right there we go so now after that progress bar was full uh screen went black for a little while and now it is rebooting our device so it looks like once our phone boots back up we will be on the jelly bean update this uh, first boot or not <laughs> um, i guess i'm wrong so it looks like this update is taking even longer than i thought it would um, I don't know why it just went to that screen. Uh, again, it is running through updating everything. It is a full OS update, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. All right, so now we're back at the boot animation. Um, again, the boot up might take a little bit longer to load than usual since it did just do a full update, um, but I'm going to let it boot up and I'll be back. All right, so my phone just booted up. You'll see Connections Optimizer was installed. What that's going to do is actually turn on and off Wi-Fi networks as... Um, you go through with them. If you, if you forget to turn it off when you leave and there's not any available, I think it's going to turn it off. I don't like to use it just because um, I'm someone that likes to do everything manually and uh, and turn them on and turn Wi-Fi on and off as I like. So I'm going to press the back arrow and then I should be able to turn it off. If not, uh, I'll show you guys how. But anyways, it says congratulations. Phone has been updated to the latest update. No data was wiped. I moved all these icons around. Uh, before just because I wanted to show you guys that no data was wiped so uh, my icons are still in the exact same spot pull this down uh, go ahead you'll see power save has been added up there into our notification pull down I'm going to go ahead and go into settings theme wise it looks very similar uh, it's added HTC media link HD go ahead and scroll down and there's also uh, beats audio option there and go to about and under about, we go to software information. And right there, you'll see Android version 4.1.1, HTC Sense version 4 Plus. So that has completely been updated. But otherwise, that's just about it. Just about everything I did want to show you guys for uh, manually updating. I will do a full review of Jelly Bean on the Evo 4G LTE. I will link to that in the description of the video. 
But uh, other, otherwise, uh, be sure to subscribe to me and check out that review video. I'll get to it in a second. I actually, uh, it looks like Connections Optimizer has come up again. I'll, uh, I'll show you now how to get to that before I finish. I want to go ahead and go into settings. And then go ahead and select mobile data. And then under mobile data, you'll see automatic connections. It'll automatically connect to 4G or Wi-Fi whenever available. I'm going to uncheck it again because I like to manually control it. It's up to you if you want to use it or not. You can try it. You can always turn it off via the method that I did just show you. But that would be it. As I said, check out my review video. Be sure to subscribe to me. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.